Okay, so the prank today, pranking a CEO via his daughter. Mm. Just just prank my dad, like do anything. Mm. That's the brief. Yeah. Just do anything. So I have to make up something with nothing. Okay. Okay. As I do. Challenge accepted. Let's call the CEO. Hello, is that Mr. Detroit? Yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, I'm calling you from Mahgura regarding your account. Yeah. We've just noticed that you've been defaulting on your account. This oh, 077, seven, the number of mine, but this number that, I, that you're phoning me on. Actually, the reason for my call is to offer you a better package, sir. <laughs> um, but, but what, is, what is your name? Uh, my name's Johan. No, I'm not, I'm not. At this point in time, Johan, we, you know, we, on, on talk, what am I on? Talk 1000 or talk 500 or whatever I'm on. What am I on? What I wanted to phone you about well, was tell you about the phone buddy system that we have, which is pretty much, uh, it'll cut your phone bill by 50% in one month. So what system is that? It's the phone buddy system. Basically what it is, you cut down 50% of your monthly bill, but what you do is you only have access to your phone number for 50% of the time. Nah, nah, that can never work. <laughs> We've looked at your cell phone usage patterns, and we assign you with somebody opposite to your usage. Then nah, it nah, I'm a CEO of a company, of a huge f***ing company, man. I can't play games <laughs> like that. I can't have someone using, I, I need my phone 24 hours a day. I can't have someone accessing my phone or me not accessing my phone. How it works is Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, the number is assigned to you. And then Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, Saturday and the following Monday, you don't have access to the number. Or you got another package where Monday through to Sunday, called the half day baggage, you got the phone up until 12 o'clock and then... Now, well, what about you understand? I'm a CEO of a big company. I can't not have a phone. What's wrong with you? I'm the CEO of a f***ing huge company. I can't have fun until 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Have an afternoon. <laughs> now forget about it. What? What are the benefits that I can't use my phone? You restrict... No, please don't talk nonsense to me, man. I, I use the phone all day, 24 hours, and I can't be restricted by some clown show on the other side. Your cell phone buddy, as we call it, that we've paired you up with <laughs> is a guy called Cornet Swanepoel. All right? Well, I don't do who the f*** cell phone buddies. I'm not interested in this, in this, in this thing at all. Cornet... Okay, I'm, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not interested. I can't, I can't see myself being interested if I'm, I'm going to have a phone buddy. And say for instance, somebody tries to phone you, but it's on Cornet's time, Cornet can just take a message and he'll pop it back to you. No, when what is wrong with you? I'm a CEO of a f***ing company. No one takes a message for me. Listen, Charlie, you're wasting my f***ing time. You're telling me when somebody phones my phone, somebody will take a message when I can phone it back. Are you mad? Cornet Swanepoel will be... What the f*** is wrong with you? How can you do that? Don't you understand what a CEO of a f***ing company is? They don't talk to me then. How can you tell me that someone will take a message for me? Well, do you have a secretary? Me crazy, man. Do, <laughs> time, do, Cheers, man. do you have a secretary? <laughs> no, hello. Hello, could I please speak to Cornet Swanepoel, please? <laughs> no, you're not. Stop no, you've got it in here for you. Uh, is that not Cornet Swanepoel? <laughs> Who's Cornet Swanepoel? I don't know who Cornet Swanepoel is. Oh, uh, he's, he's my friend. He's on this new phone buddy system. You must be the guy that's got his. <laughs> He's obviously got this number tomorrow. Can you take a message for me? Could you possibly? I'm not a corner, okay. Maybe, maybe someone else is. Would... This, this Renee, but Re Renee is also a girl's name. Well, I'm not a girl. I'm a kid. Well, I know who's <laughs> phone. This one up, okay. Could you? Oh my goodness, I'm going to tell Cornet his phone, but he's very rude. No, I don't know what the what the Cornet told you, but listen, Charlie. <laughs> Could you give Cornet a message for me? I will, yeah. When it's what do you want me to say, sir? I love you, and uh, give me a call. No, that's fine. That's, I'll f***ing give her that message. It's not a problem. I'm, I'm sure she'll say the same thing back to you. Okay. Hello? Hello, is that my phone buddy, Renee? It's Cornet here. Oh, I just want to find out, are there any messages left for me today, friend? What? Where, where is it? Look. Where the f*** are you? <laughs> Hello? Uh, good day, Mr. Detroit. Yes. It's Johan here um, from... I don't appreciate, I don't appreciate this conversation. <laughs> you know, who the hell do you think you are? I've told you how many times I'm not f***ing interested, okay? But you keep persisting on this bullshit story, okay? I'm not even, I'm not, uh, what, what don't you understand about now? But what do you have against your phone, buddy? I, I have, I have, not, I, I don't want to speak to you more, Johan. Get it through your f***ing head, okay? I don't want to speak, put me through to your superior. No, I can't. Then I'll be in trouble. I'll, I'll, I'm putting down now. Hello? 
Hello? Mr. De Toit, just want you wanted to speak to my supervisor. I've got my supervisor here with me. Speak, no, I don't want to speak to him anymore. Well, it, it's, it's a her. Um, her name is Candace. Candace, do you want to speak? Hello, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Dad, you're talking to Wacky. Did you get that call? Oh, Wacky, you're Wacky. You are Wacky. <laughs> I love it, Sean. I love it. <laughs> Mr. Detroit. Well done, Wacky. Well done, China. <laughs> Wacky, you whack, man. Hey! <laughs> well done, China. Amazing. <laughs> oh, gosh. If you want yeah. somebody pranked, you know what to do. Oh, Send me the details. Darren S at KFM.co. <laughs> <laughs> also, in, in case you missed it, he's a CEO of a big company. Yeah. Exactly right. You don't have time for nonsense. It's a CEO time. of really? a big company. Why did I miss that? You know what? I, think it's, I think it's a perfectly I'd, good I'd setup with, and situation. I'd with that in every conversation. Uh, hey? but, but don't you think we're sitting now trying to cut our electricity bills by 50%, mm. 70%. Mm. We're trying to cut down on everything. Cut your grocery mm. bill. You, why would you not want to cut your cell phone bill mm. by go, 50%? Go, go Harvey's on a phone number. Exactly, <laughs> because we even ha- I'm, I'm launching a three-way conversation now, where you can have three, two phone buddies. Oh. <laughs> Cut your phone bill by th- two thirds. Oh. No oh. wackhead, you whack. <laughs>